Hi, good afternoon. A very warm welcome from HP to all of you. Welcome to Singapore. Um, a lot of the slides that we had present, prepared, <coughs> they, were pre uh, they were ready as of uh, last week, but imagine yesterday there was a flurry of activity in my office as we prepared the latest update. So I presume some of you would like to know some of the latest news also, direct from HP, am I right? Let's say, okay. But first, let me get to the main subject. Um, today, I'll be talking to all of you with regards to how HP intends to win and how we're investing behind shopper knowledge to win with our retailers. The second part of my presentation will focus then in terms of some of the latest products that we have, the innovation that we will continuously bring to all our retail partners. And finally, I've got some news to br bring to all of you but let me give you more detail later on, all right? First, in terms of the fast-changing landscape, as we looked, at the, we looked at our research, we talked to our shoppers, we realized that the key macroeconomic trends, such as urbanization, growing affluence, internet of all things, had a huge impact in terms of how we go to market and how we do business. And we in HP, as we looked at all these facts, Across Asia Pacific and Japan for our business, we asked ourselves, are we ready to face these challenges, especially in this dynamic retail environment? Even up to yesterday, countries like India, they were asking us in terms of our response with regards to e-commerce in India, compared to the brick and mortar business that we had. Therefore, we took a step back, and here are some of the realizations that we had as we grappled with these challenges that we face. Number one, we realize that very simply, all of you, our retail partners, know retail better than any vendor out there. Unless a vendor, unless a vendor has invested in their own stores, run and operated their own stores, all of you live and breathe retail every single day. And we, we believe in HP that we are able to consult, but we are never able to then provide the full recommendation to our retailers in terms of what you do operationally every single day. So as we took a step back, we said, where is the value add that we can bring? And then we started thinking a lot more about that sweet spot between you and I, which is primarily the shopper. We felt that we needed to invest a lot more to understand our shoppers in terms of just beyond their demographics. Beyond the demographics in terms of their motivations, their intent, and their behaviors within the store, the shopper journey. And then we wanted to start that journey. And the third, we also then focused a lot more. And you will see that very shortly in terms of the product innovation that we have and that we can bring to all of you. So with that, looking at the shopper journey, now on the top part, you will see the shopper journey, whether it's in-store or online. What HP decided a little over two years ago was to invest every single year over $2 million in shopper research. We spoke to over 70, over the last year alone, we spoke to 75,000 shoppers worldwide. And a lot of those shoppers were sitting, were sitting here in APJ. We covered shoppers in large format stores, online stores, we covered shoppers in Australia, India, China, and also in Southeast Asia to understand how they behave, how they think, and therefore, hopefully, with some of that knowledge, we were able to then translate that into recommendations for all our retail partners. So here are some highlights. We covered the areas of showrooming, for example, and you see those facts there. Shoppers love to use your stores as, as a place for them to visit. But then we started going a little bit deeper. How do we convert that showrooming effect into something where an actual purchase is being made? And a lot of the findings found, uh, that we found had to do with the actual experience in the store with the product itself. We also found out the importance in terms of discovery at retail. Now, all of all our retail partners, you have shelf talkers, you have 10 carts, you have those X, X banners, all of that. We found out what's the most important in terms of communication. And here's a shout out to our Intel partners over there. 
We found out that the HP Intel iPods was one of the most important things on our computers. Not the cheap DVD that the retail would play, not the sound system, but the ability to interact with the product and to find out and be able to compare. And that's where iPods become so critical. We also found that despite the growth of online, at the end of the day, the majority of our shoppers really did value the service of your employees and our promoters in the store. And that's where we continue to invest. And finally, the importance of online. And I've already had some discussions with some of you with regards to online. And our recommendation, or based on our findings, we found out that it is not the vendors online that's most important. It is the retailers online that makes the difference when it is fully integrated into the brand of their store, not as a separate brand, but a brand of their store itself, not as a discounter, but an experience that you aspire to them to, to have similar to your brick and mortar business. We then took it a little bit further because this knowledge was then very broad. It was then very, we wanted to make it a lot more specific. So with certain retail partners, we started looking in depth, customizing that shopper research to specific retailers to, in specific categories, understanding the demographics, the intent to purchase with specific categories, why they buy, when they were buying, how frequently they were buying, and then said, Mr. Retail Partner, here's the knowledge. How can we bring it together to bring in more sales for HP and for yourself? We also analyze the different types of point of sale material. It may look similar, the three types over there, but you will see the numbers. The preference of consumers changes. When you change the fonts, you change the language, you change your communication, and ultimately we bring that in our point of sale material into your stores. And finally, while we are not the experts at retail, we decided then to see how can we best display our products in different types of retail formats. It could be a HP World Store, it could be a shop in shop, it could be a multi-branded outlet. We then put the shopper research in terms of the journey which they take and the best possible way for the shopper to interact with it. So in the last two years, we've been focusing in terms of the basic shopper knowledge and shopper journey. Where we're at this year, towards the end of this year, we started investing a lot more in specific channels, such as the IT mall channels in China in Indonesia, in Thailand, for example. The online channel, to really understand the motivations behind their shoppers there. And as we look into 2015, we'll be investing a lot more in terms of point of sale material. And then after that, by the end of next year, refreshing this entire cycle again. Because this, we believe, brings the freshest information to our retail partners. Now moving on into, in terms of some of the newest products that we will have. You will see in, in, in a short while some of the latest innovations that we have on our PC and print business. We decided to ensure that we bring the best in terms of shopper knowledge, consumer knowledge, retailer feedback into our design and functionality. We've asked, we've asked our consumers, what do you want now? At the same time, I'm sure we've listened to GFK also. We've asked ourselves, what could the shopper want in the future? And let me now show you a short video in terms of some of the products that will be coming to you very soon. Now we believe in HP that when we drive product innovation, over the last years, our consumers and retailers have rewarded us back with their loyalty and also growth in market share.
where we continue to be a strong number one or number two player in every region, in every category. That is our intent that we have in the PC category. With regards to print, and as many as you will know, we are number one in terms of our inkjet business, our laser business, and we continue to innovate, to make ourselves as relevant as possible in a market that is struggling. But ourselves as market leaders, we believe that our role is to be able to innovate, make it simpler, and also make it simpler for consumers to use and make it relevant for them to use. So in summary, what we intend to offer to our consumers would be all the power, all the mobility. In terms of some of those charts that were shared earlier from GFK, you will see us having quite the full range of products that brings the combination of PC and also print together. We also believe that we are able to change the way computing is done. Maybe from convertibles to detachables, you will be able to see those products very soon. And finally, the different OS alternatives, because consumers will be demanding something different, and we hope that we are able to introduce that range to them. In terms of the PC portfolio, you will see it over here, from voice tabs to tablets to hybrids to notebooks, the full range will be there. And we're putting some of our big bets in terms of what consumers want today, and potentially what they want in the very near future. A lot of our partnerships, even with Microsoft, with Intel, we are looking at the future of cloud computing for our personal con consumers, for our personal computing consumers. And this is one example that I'd like to share with you right now. Why use two devices when all you need is one? Ta-da! Meet the all-new HP Pavilion X2. It's the tablet that doubles as a notebook. Just attach the keyboard and voila! This tablet becomes a full-featured notebook with a click. I'm always multitasking, and the quad-core processor in Windows 8.1 makes it easy to get everything done. With two adjustable modes, I've always got the perfect view. Or if I really want to relax, it's tablet mode for me. I can catch my favorite movies on the 10-inch touchscreen or play for up to 11 hours on a single battery charge. When it's time to get back to work, the full-size keyboard gives me a real notebook feel. It's perfect for when I'm working in Microsoft Office 365 Personal, which comes free, by the way. Oh, and did I mention how great it looks? I got to pick my favorite soft cover color. It goes with everything, especially my busy life. that a lot of our products right now is catered towards the younger generation. It caters in terms of mobility and being lighter and faster, even touches into the area of cloud computing. A lot of the colors that we have have been researched based on the shopper research that we had done. Now think about it, there are very few businesses that you have, maybe in terms of refrigerators, TVs, washing machines. Once you move that box out of the door, the consumer does not come back up to six to 10 to 11 years because those products are built to last. However, the magic behind our printer business is not behind the hardware. It is behind the supplies business that they keep on coming back every month or every three months to get the supplies and that's where the business model truly is. Let me give you an example in terms of how we now as a market leader are positioning ourselves with this commercial. For your information, the printer that, that's in this commercial is displayed outside. The dog is not. Okay? 
So we bring this all together in terms of a retail environment. So, so in, in, in a very broad summary, um, you've got, when we've got the shopper inside, we've got the product, HP has also combined all of that to invest in stores. Now, that's the formal part. That's the first part of my presentation. Now let me share with you what is the latest that we are going to bring from a HP as a company. Let me introduce this video to you first. In 1937, two Stanford grads discussed starting a business. Initial forays would include bowling lane signals and harmonica tuning. They started modestly. Suggested name, the Engineering Service Company. Their first big break, a special customer. Walt Disney Studios buys eight oscillators to help precisely tune theaters for the release of Fantasia. Soon they renamed the company and went on to great success. Two friends, two partners, two names. A casual coin toss deciding the order. Just right. And in 1939, the engineering service company becomes Hewlett Packard. The company grew for 75 years, starting Silicon Valley along the way. Invent, the one word invitation the two-syllable fight song, the six-lettered blueprint that built Hewlett-Packard. What flowed out our doors amazed the world, and still does today, with solutions for a new style of IT, for every business. It's big data smarts that wrestle the unmanageable into the knowable, and the knowable into the profitable. Work that can happen anywhere, anytime, and on any device, for any business. Security dominance protecting the flow of $9 trillion in transactions every day. And connecting everything with a new, flexible cloud that harmonizes all business operations. Why $3 billion in R&D? Because no money is better spent. So the next 75 years, they've already begun. Next is now with Memristors, fusing memory and storage for computers that will fit in your hand, hold our entire digital existence and use just one one thousandth the energy. Or tiny sensing devices built with nano fingers that can sniff out contaminants, chemicals, counterfeits, even early stage cancers. And let big data get as big as it likes. Because we're attacking the exascale with the nanoscale devouring, analyzing, and acting on data everywhere with a mesh of tiny computers. What does it mean? Dark data will no longer be dark. Analytics will be for everyone, and we'll have answers to questions we didn't know to ask. We're building the next 75 years together in every office, airport lounge, hotel room, and coffee shop. It's not just the future of HP or our customers. It's the future of everyone and what we all do to make it matter. So <clears throat> yesterday was a great day for HP. Uh, it was a historic day. And uh, as all of you may have heard, yesterday was the announcement of the separation of HP into two very large companies, HP Enterprise and HP Inc. Inc. I-N-C, not I-N-K. With that, we are getting two 50 billion Fortune 50 companies and this, for, for myself and my team, will be part of HP Inc. And this transition will happen over the next 12 months. So let me share with you a little bit more detail. Now the first message that I have for all our retail partners is that there is 
not going to be any change in terms of our strategy. In fact, our strategy, especially for consumer and commercial business under HP Inc., we will then become much faster, more agile and flexible in terms of our product, product innovation and also customer engagement. We are also building HP Inc. from a position of strength. As you saw earlier, in terms of our numbers that we have, the market share, and also in terms of the retail partnership has, is now stronger than ever. And the last thing is, most of you, many of you may know Dion, Dion Weisler. He's part of this region in APJ, born and bred in this region in APJ and he will be leading as our president and CEO. With him, he brings the Asia's consumer and, the Asia, and Asia's customers with him, and we are very proud that he, he has worked with us side by side here in the Singapore office. And more importantly to our partners, Number one, there's no, not going to be any changes. It is business as usual. No changes in terms of our partner contracts. No changes in terms of our, our partner programs. In fact, for some of you, we are looking at strengthening the partner programs as we head into a very exciting 2015. We are going to accelerate the product innovation. Some of this you have seen. This has been already released. But a lot of it, by the time the new fiscal year starts, we and our partners, our, vendor, our alliance partners, will be introducing faster innovation than ever before. My only request for all our retail partners would be this, reach out to us. We, have, we are reaching, yesterday, uh, as a side joke, my, my, my manager, my direct line, he was saying, we need to reach out to as many customers as possible. I put up my hand, I said, sure, I'll do it. I'll do 200 customers tomorrow. And, 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 and therefore, my ask to all of you is reach out to us also. Ask us any questions, ask me any questions. The sales teams in your countries, they have this information, in fact, they have much more. So feel free to engage with myself, my HP team over here, and then we can answer all those questions and also then continue building on the strong partnership that we have. So in very quick summary, the presentation I've covered included the shopper insights and shopper journey that we work with retailers hand in hand. Second, in terms of some of the product innovation that we're very excited, a lot of it is being displayed, not all of it, but wait till 2015, but most of it is already being displayed for our print and PC business. And last and not, but not least, it is the exciting journey that HP is going to have that's going to propel us for the next 75 years. So with that, thank you so much, and once again, welcome into Singapore.